Hi guys, very nice to see you here. My name is Maria Khoryva and I'm a first soloist with the Mariinsky Ballet in Russia. And if you have been subscribed to my channel, you may have seen that I've posted a video of me and Vladimir Shklerov, the principal dancer of the Mariinsky Theatre, performing at a Russian television show called Большой Ballet in Russian. And the exact translation in English would be Big Ballet, but the Big Ballet is the name of another American TV show of plus-size dancers. So we decided to call it Grand Ballet on my channel to avoid any confusion. So if you have seen this video, I just wanted to tell you that this Grand Grand Ballet is one of the huge TV shows and a very unique show because it's a ballet competition and different dancers from theaters all over Russia compete in seven episodes. And in my opinion, it's a very interesting show and I was honored to take a part in it, to take part in it with the principal dancer from our theater. And I decided to share because we have a lot of backstage footage from this project. And I've always been really curious to see how it looks backstage, how are the things, you know, filming a TV show, it's so interesting to see how it works. So we decided to film backstage and today you are going to see my reaction to this backstage footage and just see me rehearsing and see me going around backstage at a TV show. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. So let's get into it. This really does bring me back and bring back all of these memories. Okay, let's get into it. Maria Koreva and Vladimir Shklerov. So this is the backstage footage of the first episode and we were performing the Sleeping Beauty Pas de Deux from the third act. And you can see this, is, this was during the rehearsal. This is my coach, Elvira Tarasova. This is both of us. She's a coach for both of us, me and Volodya. So we were lucky to go to this competition with her. So rehearsing at this venue we had these projections, these video projections on the floor and on the walls. And here you can see that Velodia reacted to it because you know the floor is moving and it would be so difficult to dance when the floor is moving. So Velodia asked to make it a little bit smaller because Sleeping Beauty Pada is a lot of balances and a lot of like tricky partnering moves, especially in Adagio. So yeah, and here you can see we are rehearsing, not full on, because we came there very early and we had to perform the last ones. We were the last ones in the first round. So we had to rehearse the first in the morning and we had to perform the last because this is how it worked during this competition. So we came we did a little ballet class in the morning i think it was 8 a.m and then we rehearsed on stage and of course we wanted to save our legs and our mood also for the evening so we rehearsed not for long and this is the actual performance footage here so you can see the decorations and this is the rehearsal footage and you can notice that the floor was much much more vibrant and here again, not doing some steps. So, Volodya really taught me during this competition. My partner Vladimir Shklerov taught me how not to, how to save the strength and energy for the evening performance, and how to be like at your best for the actual performance, and not to spend everything you've got during the rehearsal. And he was also very, very supportive. So yeah, it was a little bit tricky to dance on this platform because the light was very different and the stage was obviously also very different and we didn't have the wings that we were, we are used to at the, th and here you can see I make a, made a mistake with my arm. I don't know why, maybe just because I was nervous and sleepy, but I've already performed this part of many, many times, but here rehearsing before the project, I made this silly mistake. So anyway, I really want to thank Volodya and Elvira Gennadievna, my coach, our coach, for being 
so supportive and for making this competition possible. And here you can see this is like a rehearsal situation, rehearsal space that was in front of, that was backstage, in front of the actual stage. And it's like a tiny, tiny little piece of ballet flooring. And you can see the weird mirrors here. I don't know why they put them in there. They're so strange. But here you can see my coach giving me some corrections and advices. And in the corner, there are the dancers from the other theater warming up before their rehearsal. So my coach, Vera Gennadine, she is really showing all of these beautiful details with her arms. And I'm, I mean, I'm really grateful to her. And this is my favorite part from the whole project, this gorgeous, beautiful music and a very emotional moment indeed. And this is the way us on our way to our first day at the Moss Film Studios, where the competition was filmed. <laughs> Here's me in all my glory, without any makeup, before starting to get ready for the evening performance. So I've just put on the point shoes and my warm-up clothes and I'm trying yet again the combination from my variation and just warming up a little bit. And there are already some dancers in these blue costumes in the mirror that are getting ready to actually perform because the performance of each pair really took quite a lot of time because they had to be, they had to dance and also the jury had to say their words. And this is us already in the costumes getting ready to perform. And here's Marcella Pilizzoni, the participant from Presnayars. And hello Marcello. And yeah, me being very nervous in my tiara, in my warm-up clothes and in the costume and Valori being very calm, which really helped a lot, you know, psychologically, because it was a challenge to participate in a competition and especially because it was quite hard for us to be the last pair. We ended up performing around like 10, 30 p.m., 11 p.m.-ish, so it was a challenging day, you know, rehearsing in the early morning and performing in the late... And here, you know, my tiara got stuck to my tutu, which actually happens quite a lot when I'm warming up in these costumes, in these tutus with the tiara on, so this is my very usual mistake. So, yeah, also I wanted to really thank our director, Yuri Fatev, for making this possibility for us because it was such a great experience, you know? It really made me stronger, I think, and it made me obviously more experienced. And here I am standing, I'm stretching my calf muscles on the base of the belly bar. This is, uh, I do it a lot at the theater and <laughs> I had a chance to do it here as well. Here's my glorious partner, calm and really thinking about the role, I think. So yeah, Valori is a beautiful Prince Desiree and I was fortunate enough to make my debut at the Mariinsky with him in the full-length ballet as Aurora and him as Prince Desiree. It was amazing. He's really conveying this Petipa style and really you know, very classical prince. And here's me again, already training my mood for the performance because Aurora has to be really charming and really sweet, but also like a princess, you know, a future queen. So elegant and graceful. I was trying to train it for performance. And you guys are the judges if I got it or if I didn't. So here we are already like really performing or practicing before the very start. The makeup lady is powdering Valora's face. And we're making some last minute corrections with Emira Gennadyevna. So also the whole television project team was so supportive. The administrators and the people around us during this time were so amazing. We could contact them, ask any questions uh, almost 24 hours a day. 
So I wanted to just say big, big thanks to them. So the warm-up of a belly dancer before going on stage might not look as cool, as beautiful and as glamorous as dancing on stage. And you can see I'm like doing these awkward moves. So here I'm bowing before the coda of this padida. And I don't know, even though the Sleeping Beauty padida doesn't look that difficult, for me, it's one of the most challenging pieces I've ever danced, especially the coda. After this variation, you have just like several seconds of music of men's coda and Valota doing his beautiful double tours on Lair. And it is so difficult to go and do your coda. I don't know. So here we are, I think, after finishing the performance. <laughs> Obviously, me not happy how it went and like obviously we are tired because it's really late and you can see the lights shutting down and yeah, so it's this state of mind, the state of body, like very tired and exhausted every time after you've performed, but also quite happy. And we're discussing the details for the next day, because the day after this day, in two days, we had to perform the second round, which will be the Bayadere from the third act, The Kingdom of Shades. So, a lot going on, and here's the coda, and here the ballerina does not feel her legs, like, at all. I mean, at least me. I'm, like, really thinking about, Masha, keep that smile on, Masha, only one more pirouette is coming up. You can make it, you can do it, and here this pirouette is such a relief, and this final pose is such a great relief, and it's also quite difficult to make yourself do the bows, because you're like really out of breath and nauseous and the muscles are giving up on you. And here's the true backstage of the composition. This is after our morning rehearsal. Me, Valody and Elvira Gennadievna. I mean, it was a really weird state because we've just tried the stage and it was very weird and uncomfortable and we just had to really concentrate on what we have to do for the evening because we only had one rehearsal and we had to go for it in the evening. So yeah, it was a very interesting process, but a challenging one, but I'm so grateful for this experience. So yeah, basically that's it. If you haven't seen the video of the actual performance, I will leave the link in the bio and hopefully you enjoyed this little backstage moment. Let me know if you want the backstage moment for the other programs, for the other episodes. And the other episodes are also coming up on my channel, so the video of us performing. So stay tuned for them and stay tuned for the backstage. Leave your comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next ones. Bye-bye.